Hi, this is Flash from Outside the Box. I'm doing this video about Elizabeth Hirshhorn, the Airbnb tenant that became a squatter in Brentwood, California, that has been referred to as the tenant from hell. I was on my way to hopefully interview Elizabeth when she abruptly moved out. Now, if you're familiar with the story, she was asking for $100,000 to relocate and basically extorting the owner of the house. I got there, the homeowner told me that she just left and uh, you know, said, maybe you scared her. <laughs> um, you know, hopefully I have that effect on squatters uh, that they just want to leave. That would be a good thing. But uh, honestly, I, I don't know why she moved out. Uh, just abruptly with no notice, no nothing. She just had some movers show up and carried stuff out and left the premises. So I have video and pictures of the premises and might be the first time you're gonna see the actual inside. Here is Elizabeth and some pictures and video of me walking into the um, guest house. So I'm entering the gate. Um, and then this guest house that she was living in is here on the left. And uh, this is probably the first time that, you know, you're seeing this. The owner said he hadn't been in here. And, but um, okay, so the squatter left. But the reason I'm doing this video is for the reason that she was a squatter in the first place. She was an Airbnb tenant which means her contract was through Airbnb. And I think that it's wrong that everything fell on the owner, Sasha, when if you got in a wreck with an Uber driver, you would be going after Uber and Uber has insurance for that. I believe that Airbnb customers should be covered the same way and other companies like Airbnb. But in that case, the owners of the house or, or the property are responsible for the tenant. Therefore, when the tenant becomes a squatter, it's the owner's problem. Airbnb made their money. They back out. They have nothing to do with it. And I think that something needs to change there because, you know, it's hard enough. We have squatters that were never tenants. We have tenants that become squatters and that the tenants that become squatters actually had a contract with the homeowner. But in an Airbnb situation, the tenant never had a real contract with the owner. It was through Airbnb. Airbnb found them, Airbnb supplied them, basically produced them to the homeowner and they moved in. So I just think that, you know, this video is mainly about the fact that I don't think that she should have been the owner's problem in the first place. He shouldn't have had to deal with her. It should have been Airbnb's problem. They should have insurance for something like that. And they should have assisted in getting her out. That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how much money he had to spend through the whole process, but the fact that she was asking for $100,000, I'm glad he didn't pay it and she moved out. But the bottom line is, I think that sh something should be changed when it comes to Airbnb or any other company like that providing tenants for homeowners on a temporary basis. I think that something should be put into place where they have to have some sort of insurance to cover a situation and that tenant should be their responsibility. Thank you for watching Outside the Box. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Flash Shelton. Have a good day. Bye.